Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we will be covering a uh, more sovereign citizen who well tries to distance himself from being a more, much like the American state nationals try to distance themselves from being labeled as sovereign citizens. This is kind of the same thing right here. But this dude uh, has arguments that are pretty much indistinguishable from uh, more soft tards anyway. So if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Peace, love, energy, infinite light to all my beautiful indigenous American Indians on Turtle Island, a.k.a. the Americas and all the Cayman Islands. Shout out to all my airwalks, all my Danish airwalks in Zamaica, all my airwalks in Hawaii. I got a question for you, dude. Where the hell did you get that uh, god-awful looking Indian headdress at a uh, gift shop somewhere on an Indian reservation? I mean, that looks like something that they would uh, hawk off to tourists. Though I guess you're trying to make it fit with your claims of being a Cherokee descendant. Oh yeah, that's right. This idiot uh, claims to be a Cherokee Indian. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, you registered with the Indian Affairs and provided a uh, actual family lineage that they can trace back just to make sure that you are a Cherokee Indian? If not, then I guess you are lying to us. And I've watched this video, and he makes all sorts of claims, but he never does say anything about going to Indian Affairs to register that claim. How do I know this? Because my own mother ended up registering at Indian Affairs as a Cherokee Indian. She had to provide all sorts of documentation as to her lineage. So, unless you can provide me with that documentation, I'm going to consider you a fraud for now. Peace, love, energy, and infinite light to all my beautiful original indigenous American Indians. How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing? Shout out, shout out. How is everyone doing on Turtle Island, a.k.a. the Americas? Hope everyone's doing their due diligence. Hope everyone's living bright. Hope everyone's having a beautiful day. Just know the sun is shining the brightest on you and any dark problems you're going through. Just know you'll always get over it no matter what. The only way you anything will ever devour you is if you let it devour you. So how is everyone doing? Hope everyone's living it up, living life like it's golden. God damn it. Hope everyone's doing it, man. Ain't nothing to worry about, y'all. We ain't worried about nothing out here. We just doing what we got to do to get it through, you know? Make it to the youth. Teach these children. So it comes to my attention that some of you still don't know what the hell a Moor is. We're not Moors, okay? We're not Moors, all right? All that hotep shit, all that Pan-African shit, throw that out the window. When you claim to be a Moor, you're claiming to be an immigrant on your own land. Like, we're not Moors. We're not fucking Moors. Moor just means dirty North African. We're not a dirty North African. We're not from Africa. All right? Motherfuckers, Africans are like, but your ancestors are from Africa. No, my ancestors are not from Africa. My ancestors, our ancestors as the indigenous American Indians, our ancestors, the Aztecs, the Olmecs, the ancient Atlanteans, the Mayans, the Incas, those are our ancient ancestors. Well, dude, you have not exactly provided any evidence for your claim to be a Native American Indian, or more precisely, a Cherokee. So, if you haven't provided any documentation on that little bit of information, how can we trust that uh, you are definitely the definite article on the rest of your claims? Especially Atlantis, and considering that... Uh, well, there's no evidence that Atlantis ever existed to begin with. And seeing as how you claim to be a descendant of Atlantis, but there is no evidence that Atlantis ever existed, well, your claim lacks uh, credibility. All right. Now, ancient Atlantis is our ancient culture. 
one of the beginning, the oldest. That's why they don't teach about our shit. Because they don't want you to know how powerful you are. They don't want the indigo children to know the true fucking brilliance, you know? The true blessings. Well, dude, uh, Atlantis has to be proven to have existed first before it's taught in schools. Otherwise, you're just teaching about nothing. I mean, if you've got proof of Atlantis, dude, step forward and uh, show it. Otherwise, you don't know it. The true, pure, glorified, intergalactical cosmic powers, you know? How we can telepathically speak to nature, to the animals, to the trees, and the other deities and entities throughout the universe. They want this program to stuck on this planet. They want this program to stuck that they can race out in this little motherfucking box. Break out that matrix and jack out, dude. So all you, all you American Indians claiming to be more, stop it. That's just as bad as claiming to be religious. You don't know shit about who you are. That's just sitting back listening to what another motherfucker say. Oh, Moors was the first black? No. Them African Moors were, I guess y'all could say, the first black colonizers. Yeah. Because those African Moors taught the Europeans how to colonize our indigenous land. Them African Moors don't like American Indians. So how the fuck are you an American Indian and you're a Moor? No, buddy, you're a moron. Yeah. I really think you should take a look in the mirror and uh, call yourself a moron because nothing you've said so far makes a damn bit of sense whatsoever. No such thing as an American Indian being a moron. No such thing of an American Indian being religious. No such thing of an American Indian being a Native American, you guys. Come on. Come on. Know the etymology of words. Know what shit means legally, too. Study Black Law's Dictionary if you can. And there we have one of the many arguments that both Moors and sovereign citizens tend to use is Black Law's Dictionary is the king of everything in their arguments. Well, then, I've got a question for you, dude. Have you actually uh, read Black's Law Dictionary, or are you one of these idiots that will say that you've read a book but have never even touched a book in their life, at least not in their adult life anyway? Study is a couple of other little encyclopedias that you can also read. In your local library or your local archives, dude, just study and look it up. Most of the shit is even on your fucking phones, you know? I don't really recommend phones. I always recommend going to a major archives or the Library of Congress. But, you know, if you're one of them lazy people, which you gotta get out of that lazy stage, Google it. Look it up on your phone. Go to other websites. Go deep into depth. Go deep into the pages. Go like 30 pages, 60 pages deep into information, you know? Find 10 different sources, 10 to 20 different sources of that and find and compare, you know? Don't just keep going off what the fuck you heard first, you know? Even me, dude, I'll be contradicting if I told you to believe everything I say. Don't believe shit that I tell you. Well, so far I haven't taken your word at face value anyway, so at least you're being honest about that part where you shouldn't be trusted. Look it up, bruh. The facts is right the fuck there. Just look it up. Just look it up, just look it up, just look it up. Cause you my is so I don't I don't get it. Y'all don't like to learn. Y'all don't like to research shit. Y'all think as soon as you get out of school you know everything. Why do y'all think school really teaches y'all how to think for yourself? School just it's a concentration camp to program you to be obedient to a corporation, to be obedient to a system, to be obedient to their new world order structure. And here you were saying you weren't a Moorish sovereign citizen, and yet you're saying the same thing about corporations that other Moors and sovereign citizens all say. That's all schools are. It's that simple. It doesn't take even children know this shit. You grew up in school knowing this is bullshit I'm learning. You grew up in school asking your teachers, am I even going to need this in real life? Everyone asked their teacher that. If you haven't asked your teacher that shit, you weren't trying to learn nothing in school. You didn't know what the fuck. You wasn't paying attention to what was going on or what was being programmed in your head. 
well, gee, dude, yeah, there's so much that you're not going to use when you get out of school, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's totally useless. For instance, everybody is uh, taught the same types of mathematics going through school, unless you are uh, in the advanced levels or in special education. Otherwise, you are going to be taught the same thing as everybody else. Why? Because a lot of you are going to be in fields that require some kind of mathematics. Like if you get into the military, I know in certain areas that uh, are in aviation require uh, you to have that kind of mathematical knowledge. Or if you uh, get a job as uh, an accountant, oh, you're definitely going to have to have that kind of knowledge as an accountant. And you're going to have to get into college to get even more advanced lessons in higher level mathematics. And there are some people who may work in a factory setting, like uh, a envelope stuffing corporation like CSG, where you don't exactly need a lot of mathematical skills, but you do need the ability to uh, recognize patterns in certain things because you're going to be doing a lot of uh, quality control in situations that pop up as an insert operator for that particular company. You may not think it, but uh, in reality, there are plenty of things that are taught in school that people do use. It just all depends on what field you go to after high school. If you never question anything you were taught in school, you know you're a fucking bot, dude. You know you're programmed. And shame on your parents for even raising you that way. Cause we're not, we're not, we're not having no cuck out. We ain't holding nobody fucking hands. We ain't shooting cone shit. These motherfuckers ain't playing with us, so why should we play with them? So please stop, stop. All my beautiful American Indians, stop claiming to be Moors. There's no such thing of a fucking American Indian being a Moor, dude. We're not fucking Moors. We're not 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 religious. We're not religious. We're not religious. We're not religious. We're not native. We're not native. We're not native. You got to know the difference between native and indigenous. Dude, you need to go back to school yourself and learn what synonyms are because native and indigenous are pretty much synonyms of each other, which means they can be used interchangeably in a sentence to describe the exact same thing. And you are a complete moron. Indigenous is just like a tonchinous. We are tonchinous of the land, rooted from the land, the original from the soil. That means our great, 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 grandparents been in this motherfucker, man. Y'all gotta understand this shit. This shit gets deep. This shit gets deep. So with that said, peace, love, energy, and light, man. Don't let nobody call you black. Don't let nobody call you African American. Don't let nobody call you a fucking more all right with that said one love y'all we out it okay then uh that's enough of this guy and uh, him complaining about the school system is just proof that he needs to go back into it and get a better education because practically everything he said in this video it was wrong He's incorrect about all of his definitions that I was able to look up. He's incorrect about anything else like uh, him being a Native American Indian. I mean, he was claiming to be a Cherokee, but he showed no proof of that at all. So I am deeply skeptical about that. So, uh, which makes me very skepti skeptical about everything else he said in terms of his ancestry. But you know what? He can have whatever fantasy he wants just as long as he remains in his own little corner, not bothering anybody. I mean, he's entitled to his own opinions, even if they're completely stupid. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.